today we've brought together a group of innovators and pioneers drawn from across the computing industry to work with colleagues drawn from history of medicine, drawn from population sciences to actually ask can the marriage of the scientists and the researchers data problems with the creativity of the computer industry and the games industry allow us to develop new solutions in terms of how we visualize, manage and explore the complexity that data poses us. So we're here at the first workshop for the Big Data VR Challenge. We've spent the last month sifting through the applications and choosing the teams. What's particularly exciting is we have a, a spread of teams from across the globe, so Canada, Australia, Netherlands, Scotland and the UK. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing exactly how they're going to work with their scientific advisors and what they're going to come up with. I'm involved in the Casebooks project at the University of Cambridge and we're trying to encode the medical records of the astrologer physician Simon Foreman and Richard Napier. These represent an unparalleled source of information for both medical and social history. We basically focus on uh, data science, data visualization and data interaction. And we're really interested also in, in VR and VR development. Uh, so that's why we signed up for this, uh, this event and we're really motivated to get started. The Casebook Challenge is quite fascinating. We, we're used to visualizing real data as in 3D geometry, but not the actual data itself. So how do we transform that into the sphere of virtual reality? Today, uh, genomics is a very data-intensive science, and trying to integrate all this data and trying to make sense of this is a huge challenge currently, and we need better visualizations tools. And that's the reason uh, why I'm very excited about this uh, challenge, and I'm really hoping that something useful will be able to come out of it for the entire community. Lots of things are going to be exciting over the next three months. There's a lot of different uh, people from a lot of different places with different backgrounds. So having all these individuals come together, there's just a lot of potential to get a lot of great work done. It's yes. been an exciting experience and uh, having the opportunity to work with Welcome Trust and Epic Games to do something that can benefit humanity in the context of the 21st century. I'm really excited that I'm working on this project on the Human Genome Browser and hopefully we can use VR to make the life of research much easier when visualising genomics data. Children of the 90s recruited 14,000 families um, at the start of the 1990s and collected a very wide range of different sorts of data. The challenge that we're setting to the uh, teams here is how to help us to portray those uh, data in a way which can very efficiently be explored by potential users. So we've got the, uh, the AllSpec Children of the 90s project. Our challenge now is to find a way to represent that in virtual reality that gives researchers a way to associate that data with the physical materials associated with it. It's going to be a very interesting challenge. Come up with some absolutely insane ideas. We've been talking about um, getting full body tracking suits someone walking around, fills the data, looking at voice recognition, all this stuff starting to come out already. So that's what we're excited about. So it's the end of the first day, the challenge has properly begun, and now the hard work begins for the teams. We look forward to seeing what they deliver over the next month. How are you going to solve the challenge? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'll take a moment. <laughs>